all down, you guys. They're literally just shoes. In the local spot, Rude Awakening. I heard the best story this morning. You ready? Best story. Tell me about it. All right. So I was doing a study abroad in England, and while I was over there, uh, I got really homesick. And I live in this neighborhood, and so I'd watch your vlogs. Yes. And, and it was just so comforting to see home and to see the neighborhood again. You're the best. High five. <laughs> yes. Oh, I needed coffee before I could finish the shoe analogy, but that was a great story. Shoes. Who cares? Like, who cares? Here, here's really what's going on is this year I turned 30 and I think I'm finally starting to become comfortable in my own skin. And I think that feels really nice. And there's people who like, you know, give zero <laughs> But I find a lot of those people aren't actually like comfortable in that. They're just mostly putting it on or trying to be like, ah, oh, nothing bothers me. I don't care. I don't, you know. And in some ways I envied those people a little bit, but on the other hand, I knew that like, it just wasn't quite real. I'm trying to get to the place where it's not that I think that I'm better than anybody. It's that I don't think of myself as like less than everybody and not in like an unhealthy way. Like I love serving, I love, you know, giving, but I'm not afraid of other people and how their actions are gonna affect me as much as I used to be. I'm kind of letting that go, being okay with it. I forgot my debit card. Oh no, are you okay? Oh yeah. Okay, good. You got money? I'll no, spot you. Dead. No, okay. well, absolutely. We don't no. Good. You're already here. Okay, <laughs> I have three kids, five and under, <laughs> and I know what it is like to come all the way and be short, so please let me buy you That's coffee. Okay. No, I'm serious. You're not. Well, are you going to be here a while? Welcome back. No, I'm not, but I don't know. I'm not going to get paid back here. Okay? This is my next. Somebody ever mentions they forgot their debit card? Yeah, buy for them. It doesn't matter. And don't let them chins out. That is the worst. Oh, getting back to this. Shoes. Who cares? You know what? These are camo Kevin Durant shoes that maybe some people say I shouldn't wear or should wear. I like them. So you know what? I'm just going to rock them. Sound good? Okay. What are you doing, bud? Good. What are you doing? We're going now. Yeah? What are you going to do? We're going to the dollar store and buy toys. Really? Yep. That's uh, nice. Let's go, Daddy. Daddy's going to work. Yeah. Oh, Dad. Yeah, I know. What's going on in here? Hi. Hi. <laughs> she looks so cute. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye, Daddy. Bye. See you guys. Yeah. Welcome to the new Mosaic Stadium. I happen to be the mayor of one section here. I'm the mayor of Pill Country. Self-declared. Self-declared, soon to be proven, and we are going to the first ever game in the new Mosaic Stadium. <laughs> It's quite nice, quite nice. In fact, I'm here because we're doing some work with the riders, which when we started our company a few months ago, that, that would have been like a, a stretch to say, hey, yeah, we're gonna be working with the third largest sports franchise in all of Canada, but we're here and we've made it. Oh, look at this guy, hmm. How's that, how's that? You know what's the only thing that would make the riders slightly cooler? If they serve craft beer here. Shh! Don't tell them I said, well, actually, you know what? I'm 30. I don't care. Tell them what I said. Don't. Ugh. Truth be told, they actually like me so much, they put me up on a billboard here. See, that's me. Right there. And uh, this is Greg. Yeah. We uh, model up for the photo shoot. That's why you can't see our faces in, in the shot, is because they don't want to identify that it's us but that you know that's how we look hey also look at hill country i don't know if you can see it way down there that's uh that's where i'm the mayor of anyway i'm late for my meeting i should go
It's all meeting, some good stuff happening. Damn, this place is huge and nice. Isn't it nice? Greg. It's me. Lunchtime. Here's the deal. Lately, I've not been eating healthy at all, and my body's like starting to feel it. I feel gross. I think I want to change that. Have some good lunch. So, of course, where else do you go but? Dave Boys. Justin. It's Dave Boys! What's happening? <laughs> Not much, what's for lunch? I'm whipping up a chickpea salad with a really tasty avocado, cucumber, oh, shiso dressing. Um, and then I just added some tomatoes to some aromatics and curry spice. And that's gonna join forces over here with some veg broth and some chana chickpeas. My question, do you make $22 avocado toast? No. <laughs> that's ludicrous. <laughs> <laughs> Healthy eating. Check. And it tastes good. It's an interesting mix doing this on both Facebook and YouTube. On Facebook, there's about 2,300 of you, primarily from the city and the province of which I reside. And then on YouTube, there's about 3,800 of you who don't really care as much about where I live and all the things you follow because maybe you like the vlog or a lot of it is because of tech stuff. Because I do a lot of tech related stuff and reviews and tips and tricks and different things there. And so I'm a little bit torn because I have a fresh box from Panasonic of some new goodies and things that they sent me to try out. And I feel like the people on Facebook probably don't care as much, but the people on YouTube might really care about this stuff. Here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I stole this from a friend. I'm gonna put up here a number of where you can skip ahead to skip over all of the technical details and everybody else can stay and watch the unboxing, okay? So skip ahead if you don't care about tech. Stay here if you do. So, if you don't know this, I've kind of got a deal with Panasonic, kind of like a media person where they send me stuff and I get to review it and try it out and I've made a number of videos on it. Uh, I shot with Panasonic when I started the vlog and then as I was actually kind of transitioning out of the vlog is more so when I stopped shooting Panasonic, switched over to Sony. I'll tell you doing these vlogs, it's driving me a little bit crazy on the Sony. I don't have like a screen, flip out screen where I can see myself on one camera, but that camera I can put a microphone on. The other camera, it's got a flip out screen that I can see myself, but I can't put a microphone on, which is very windy here, and then that doesn't really work so well. Anyway, whoo! All right, what do we got here? We got three cameras. We have the Panasonic G85, which is definitely one of my favorite cameras on the planet. I've got the Panasonic GX85, which is a slightly different version of this, and we'll probably talk about that a little bit more later to try out. And then I have the Panasonic FZ2500, which again, you camera nerds are probably gonna care more so about these cameras. Again, you can skip ahead if you wanna skip ahead. Um, DMC FZ 2500, it is a one inch sensor, so it's got a good size sensor on it. It's got Leica 2.8 to 4.5 zoom range glass, shoots 4K, can do a bunch of fancy stuff. Wanna be able to try that guy out. These two guys are interesting because they are small 4K shooting Panasonic cameras. You can swap the lenses on them. They've got in-body image stabilization in both of them. This one has a flip out screen. This one does not have a flip out screen, but it's a good chunk tinier. I also realized that I thought they said they had the, the, the kit versions with kit lenses where they come with a lens available and neither of these came with lenses. And 
I don't have any Panasonic lenses, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I'll figure it out, I'll let them know. Also, it shoots 120 frames per second, which if you're liking some of the super slow motion I'm shooting on the Sony, this Panasonic can shoot the same kind of super slow motion. Super slow motion, it's cool.